Take a chance for getting yesterday. Take a chance. Da, 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 da. Take a chance. My heart will find the way. Take a chance. Da, 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 break. Anyway, Grace Hubbard, Vice Principal, Episode 13. Take a chance. What I have just told you both is the honest truth from the information I gathered while listening in on Regina. Thank you, Victoria. A deal is a deal. You found out what was wrong with Regina, so now you are free to return to your security guard duties. About time. Sometimes I feel like that girl shows unprofessionalism on the job. <laughs> At least Victoria gave us what we needed to know about mm. Regina. So, what do you think? I don't know. Regina and Keisha's hatred in the first place was their own doing. They mm -hmm. chose not to learn from their mistakes. Keisha especially. I can still remember that day, when she was finally taken out of our hairs. Do you remember it? How could I not? It was the day Keisha and Regina returned to school, after serving two months worth of suspension. And the same day, when Keisha was caught red-handed, for a murder plot. Something Damn. nobody, not even us, foresaw coming. Because who the frick would see that coming? I'm we going to murder someone. Prison would finally give Keisha the much-needed wake-up call. That was a G- was... her life around, yeah, while was a also show. teaching her a very valuable lesson. But it sounds like Keisha chose a darker approach instead, and decided to take her own life. It's making sense now why Regina has made things so difficult. Her murder All failed, time, so she decided Regina's that someone's going to die in the end the of the story. Of Keisha's suicide, both physically and emotionally. Keisha but Regina didn't less. show those kinds of emotions last well, school year. Anyway, remember? The episode. She still remained her bratty self. Probably because Keisha's suicide had not happened yet. It had to have been just recently. I say we take a chance on this one and help Regina. But Jace. But nothing Mimi. Let me finish. I was going to say, Regina's made things very very difficult for us for years. She has to prove herself that she's changing for the better. I'm not going to disagree with Maybe you on this statement. Maybe get a voice box thing. But don't you think Maybe it's fair that Regina deserves getting some help first I get thought before she gets a chance to prove herself? Down, she know. can't prove anything to us or anyone if she's struggling both physically and emotionally. I'm sorry. Everything that's happened with Regina over the years has played in my head over and over again. Makes sense. Can't just forgive someone Regardless overnight. Of all the damages she has caused over the years, she really does need help, because nobody should be living their life with those feelings. Regina said to me that she feels like she doesn't deserve our help at all. After everything she's done, maybe we can convince her otherwise, and I know where we start. We go and visit Keisha, at her grave, and we pay our respects to her. It's both the proper. And the right thing to do. Yeah. What else can you do? Uh, it's the first step in acceptance, I guess, to try to get over it. Regina. Just get it over with and yell at me for skipping class. I deserve it. No. Principal Moonlight and I visited Keisha's grave. We didn't did find that? a body. Dun, I said, dun, dun! Principal Moonlight and I visited Keisha's grave. We found out what happened to her and paid our respects. We also know she is the reason why you had your son Keisha changed, was a bitch. She but you got to fill in more pieces monster, of the puzzle. But to help paint a bigger picture. It's never good news when you hear someone dies. We want to hear about this you know, you a part of you wants to celebrate, but part of you's like, damn, you know. The last time I saw Keisha in person was a few months ago when I went to visit her in prison. Then a week later, I found I out about her suicide it, through throw one a party, final three-page suicide note that she mailed to me. Three-page suicide notes. 
Did what happened to Keisha give you a wake up call? I guess you could say that it did. But the worst part about it all was when Keisha's parents and siblings put all of the blame on me for Keisha's suicide. You already owe all the blame. When the time finally they came for Keisha's you? funeral, I was expecting something of good to come out of it being there. Everyone always blames someone else. It's all everyone else's fault. Never mind, I'm perfect. Your history. We don't want you around our family again. There was a lot left in Keisha. She never got a chance to show. I keep Keisha's suicide note to remind me never to go back to my old ways. I just never expected that anyone would care or bother to listen to how I was feeling. You two don't even know what it's like to lose someone so close to you commit suicide. You're right, Regina. Principal Moonlight and I don't know what it's like. And we hope to never know. But we know someone who does. Her name is Phoebe Perez. You might have seen her around the school with Cassandra Polinsky. Miss Perez lost her best friend to suicide back in sixth grade. So while we may not know personally what it's like losing someone to suicide, we do understand how hard it can hurt. Now we're going to cut right to the big question, Regina. Do you want our help in getting through this? You say yes and you can get whatever kind of help we can offer, but in exchange have to prove that you're 100% throwing away your old self and willing to turn over a new leaf. Or, you can say, no, decline this offer entirely, and be completely stuck. Those are your only options, Miss Harmon. So, Not much of a choice, be? really. But... Only one way to progress, right? I may never get an opportunity like this again. Right. I say yes to the offer. Very well. Whatever help you want, you will get. Perhaps there's some hope for you after all. Let's help, right? Oh, and we're gonna do it with that next time. This is a, you know, a next time segment, clearly. Oh boy, this bitch. Showtime. And it starts with Phoebe's locker. What are you gonna do? Probably put some evidence in it or maybe fill with like whipped cream or something so that when she opens it something spills out, you know? Odds are she's gonna plant some evidence on her. Maybe put it forge in a bunch of other signatures and say, see, Phoebe did it too. See? Yeah. Depressing one this time, but hey, it's uplifting and weird pay. I mean, like I said, I don't know if Keisha just sort of death outright, like jail time and all that jazz and expulsion and all that jazz stuff. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's not an argument. But, I don't know. Death always just seems like an extreme, but of course, in the end, some people do deserve death and blah, 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 blah. Like, the freaking bitch who ultimately took Riley's life, well, unintended to her, no, she didn't do it herself, but through her own actions caused it, but, you know, uh, death seemed more fitting for her, but, I don't know, then again, Keisha tried to commit murder, but, I'm open to discussion about whether she deserved to die or not, but, again, it, when you hear someone dies, you're just like, damn. Like, even if I hate the person, just damn. <sighs> Death is rarely good news. But the point is, I just, it, it, at least it pro shows to Regina that this, the way she's going, needs to change, or else things are only going to get worse from here. And it's good of Jason and Mimi to offer that at hand so that she can get better. She can only go up from here, right? After. You know, sometimes you have to hit rock bottom, and sometimes you have to go even further. Right. The, the silver lining in this is that now Regina can hopefully get better, and maybe she'll be friends with Phoebe and protect her from this new bitch. 
just gonna frame for something, but uh, it's good that Jason Mimi paid respects to her, cause even though she was a total pain in her side throughout the show, always being a pain, they still respected her enough to check out her grave, cause. You could say that they just said that they did, but no, I believe they did it. They're not going to pull fast and be like, ah, we lied. No, I do think that they would, because that's the kind of people they are, both Jason and Mimi. Well, again, it's sad for Regina, too, because... Keisha's own family blames her, and... Sadly, that's pretty realistic, you know, when someone, when something bad happens, everyone's quick to point the finger at everyone else, except themselves. Even I'm guilty of that shit, too. Sometimes we blame ourselves too much when we really shouldn't, and sometimes we don't blame ourselves at all when we really should. Humans are fickle creatures. But, the point is just, again, ho hopefully Resume will get better from this, and this can only move forward from here. And we'll see what that bitch does in 2024. It can't be good stuff, but yeah. So good work, Jace, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas. At least I think you said you were Christian before, or at least celebrate Christmas is the point. Well, even if you don't, you know. To all, you know, anyone who doesn't, who only use six hours for this stuff, then have happy holidays and all that jazz. You know, happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, all that good shit. <laughs> so yeah, have a good time, and happy new year, and bye, bye, bye. So, good work, Jace. Later.